Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you guys a very cool app that has been in Galaxy devices for a while already. But just yesterday uh, or a couple days ago, I just discovered and I started messing with it. It's um, Story Album. Um, like I said, it's not a new um, app. It's an app that's only available on Galaxy devices. This is the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, but it's available also on my Galaxy Note 3 on in any um, Android Galaxy device. Um, and like you see right here, it has a very cool widget there because I was looking, I discovered this app because I was looking for nice widgets to put on my 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 extra new um, extra screens. And I found this one, which is pretty big. This is like a six by four inch screen widget. And uh, like you see right there, I have an album sliding um, through the widgets. Um, let's go ahead and open the app. Let's go ahead here. Uh, most of the times this icon, which is the story album icon, is gonna be in your device, but the app itself needs to download. Um, it's like 52 or 53 megabyte. And when you create a, when you create finally an album, you're gonna have it right there. If you create multiple albums, you have a lot of icons. And once you open one, um, it's just gonna open up like a nice book, um, photo book that you can put all your pictures. And I like the way the animation looks and everything, the way the pictures look. Um, everything that you see here is organized by the app itself. Of course, you could always write stuff that you want. Like you see right there, I could go ahead and edit there and write stuff that I want. And it's very, very cool. I like it. I like it very much. And the great thing about it is that you can also share it uh, via uh, PDF to somebody via email. If it's not bigger than like 20 or 25 megabytes. But for example, this one, it's pretty big, but I could still go ahead and share it. I could go ahead here, share, and I could go ahead and share as a um, um, S.SCC. That's only compatible with the story app. Like, for example, if you're um, sharing this with somebody that has a Galaxy device, you could share this with them, or you could simply just share the PDF file, and that's it. And you can PDF file, you could see it in any computer, any device, iOS, doesn't matter, which is a very cool feature. Um, that that's very cool but let me show you guys how it works for example this is gonna be a blank blue slate and all you gotta click right there let's go ahead and build a little album here for the purpose of the video you're gonna have this option from gallery by tag information let's go ahead by gallery it's gonna open your gallery and from here you're gonna choose photos from anywhere you want I have my uh, Dropbox account linked to my device, and I also have my Picasa uh, um, account linked to my device. So I have access to thousand, um, thousands of photos. Um, they're not in my device, but I can access them from my device, which is pretty, pretty neat. Um, let's go ahead and click here and choose this, and let's go ahead and start choosing photos. Like for example, let's go ahead and choose this one. Let's go ahead and choose this one. This one right here, this one that that and you can choose as many photos as you want doesn't really matter you can choose any photos that you want um, it's pretty nice pretty nice pretty nice the way uh, the app actually works so now we're, that we're done let's go ahead and click done uh, now it creates uh, here you can go ahead and create a title uh, let's go ahead testing uh, from Paso. <laughs> okay, here you could, you could customize the scene. Um, how do you want the theme of the of the magazine? For example, the one that you saw that I made is this one, scrapbook, which is very cool. But you could go ahead and choose another one, like for example, this one called scene, or you could choose magazine. Let's go ahead and choose this one. We'll click. It doesn't really matter which one you choose because uh, at the end, you're still going to be able to uh, switch the, the themes if you want. Here, cover image. You can choose from here what image I want as a cover. Um, I'm going to choose, let me go ahead and choose uh, this one as my cover. And you can see here how it would look. Let's go ahead and click that. And let me go ahead and put from El Paso better. <laughs> Okay, there you go. 
a shorter title. Um, here, I could keep on adding more photos if I want, but I'm done. Let's go ahead and click done. Done, and let's go ahead and create album. And there it goes. The album is created. Like you see, this one says new, this one doesn't. Click on that one. And right away, you see the cover of the album. And it's like you see right here from El Paso. And click there. Swipe. And there you go. Very, very nice. Very cool. Um, and in these sections right here, where you see that they added like a date, you could go ahead here set and put um, Scenic Drive, for example. And now you have your name there. So you can do the same thing with every single part right here. History. <laughs> Just like that. And um, like I said, if you're not happy with the way this looks, like for example, this, I, I actually change cover image. Let's go ahead and change the cover image to something else here. Let's go ahead and choose that. And to choose that. And now it has a new cover image. And we go back. There you go, new cover image. Um, so now I could go ahead here, for example, now that I have this done, right? Uh, you can still change the cover, the theme, if I want. I could go ahead and change theme. Let me go ahead and change the theme to um, um, Puzzled. This one looks pretty cool. Go ahead and click Done. And there it goes. So now, like you see right there, it looks kind of different. Click there and here. Look at that. Now this is very cool if you have tons and tons of photos, that's gonna be very cool. And keep in mind, uh, the more photos you add, the bigger the file it's gonna be, so it's gonna be harder to, to share. But for me, the easiest way to share these are, for example, through a, uh, a Dropbox like I do. I could go ahead, for example, and share this, go ahead and um, share via. Right here, I could go ahead and um, share via PDF file or story album file. Uh, honestly, I recommend choose PDF file if you're sharing with, uh, you want a lot of people to have access to this um, um, photo or to this album. You click there, it generates it. From here, you could go ahead and share it via email if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I could share this via uh, email. Okay, it automatically added it. Let's go ahead and send it to my other email. And let's go ahead and send it. So now sending message. Now let's wait for it to arrive. Okay, so here we are in my inbox. Like you see right here, it, it came as a, P a PDF attachment. When you click and open it, whoever opens it will be able to choose whatever PDF app they have in their device. Uh, let's go ahead and this time I'm gonna use Easy PDF. And there it is. Like you see, I could go ahead and open and swipe through the pages of the album that I just created. Now, this is very cool because anybody will be able to do the same thing on any device, on any computer, on any smartphone or tablet, iOS, Apple, Windows, doesn't matter. So that's very, very cool. Now let's go ahead here. Um, this is the widget that I put on my device. And from here, I can also change whatever album I have um, displayed there. For example, let's go ahead, click right here. Okay, let me see if I could go ahead here. Okay, I'm trying to hit the little thingy there. Now we got it. From here, I could go ahead and switch the album. Let's go ahead and switch whatever album. Let's choose the new album that we did. Uh, here, you can choose the intervals. Uh, three seconds, five seconds, seven seconds. Uh, for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna put three seconds so you can see the slideshow a little bit faster. And that's it. Now, look at that. Now, like you can see, it will start sliding every three seconds because that's what we chose. Very, very cool. Um, also, what you can do also, if somebody, for example, has um, this app on their device and you want to share it with them so it could be available on their So they could put it in their story album app. You could go ahead and click right here uh, Story album as c.cc 
SCC. And you can also share it via email. You can also share it via email if, like I said, if the file is small enough that you can use it as an attachment. The other app that I used before, the other album that I did before, I couldn't um, send it via attachment because it was bigger than 25 megabytes. So uh, in my case, I would share it, for example, on Google Drive or add to Dropbox. I could go ahead and add it here to Dropbox. Here I created a folder in my Dropbox that says story album. Let's go ahead and add it there. And now the uh, the album is going to be sent to my uh, story album folder on my Dropbox. Now let's go ahead to my phone. Okay, here let's go to my phone. Let's go to Dropbox. Let's go ahead and refresh this to see if it's there. There it is. Like you see right there, up, 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 up here right here from El Paso dot cc let's go ahead uh, and like you see it's only 16.3 megabytes uh, the other one that i i downloaded before was 49 megabytes big and as a sec like you see it's smaller let's go ahead and click here uh, now it's going to tell me what app i want to choose i'm going to choose this one samsung content agent and click right there because that's a samsung file but keep in mind, this will only work with, on uh, Galaxy devices. Like you see there, it totally opened up. Now I have a perfectly album in my app for my Galaxy Note 3. Let's go back. Let's go click back. Now let's go ahead to the app itself, to the story album. Let's go ahead here to the story album. And like you see, now it was added to my collection i had this one right here like you see this is the one that i had showed before and now i have this one so this is very cool like i said if you're sharing from one galaxy device to another galaxy device this is very cool and very very convenient and that's it guys um just want to share this um inf information for galaxy users because this is one of those apps that is available on your device and you might not even care about because there's so many features in this phone or app, Galaxy devices that, that sometimes it's just easy to just forget about things that are in your phone. So guys, that's it. This was a look at the Story Album app on Samsung Galaxy devices. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys.